Balabulka is apparently uh, Russian for chatterer, and uh, Balabulka is certainly a real gem uh, of a program to use. So I'm just going to give a quick overview. Uh, it's quite a comprehensive pro program, so I'm going to do it uh, stage by stage uh, into different parts. This is the, the original part. When you open Balabulka, you can see that it's just a, a white page uh, with the cursor flashing, but you can customize it. Um, it has a, a whole range of options, and one of the great things about Balabulka is that you can open up uh, multiple documents in it. So Word documents, text documents, HTML and PDFs can all be opened into the pane of Balabulka. And you can see here it retains the formatting as well. So really the first thing to do is uh, you can look at maybe the colours or the skin. Now that white's a bit sore on my eyes, the background, so I'm just going to tone it down a bit with the yellow. Uh, so choose uh, something not as brash as that. That's a bit lighter, yeah, that's better. Okay, add that to my custom colours, see OK. And also you can change the font colours, the highlighting colours, so it will highlight as it reads along as well. And see OK to that, so that's a bit better. Okay, the next stage is to look at the uh, skins, because it also comes with a range of different skins, so you can really customise it to suit your own needs. So there's a, a grey, a natural looking colour, sapphire, a bit too bright for myself, and the WLM is uh, quite quite nice. I'm just going to keep it just the standard as it is for just now. The next stage then is to go into options and we're going to look at some of the settings because there's a whole range of settings in there that you can really um, just get it customised so it, you have it just exactly as you want it. So I want to ensure that the when I uh, start reading it's going to read at the beginning of the text but I can also have it at the beginning of the cursor uh, and also the text is echoed, so as I write, you can write into Balabolka, it will echo either the letters, words or sentences back, so that's a really good feature. Okay, uh, in terms of the view, um, when you first open it, you might find the buttons are quite small, so if you want to increase the, the, the size of the buttons, so you can see them a bit better, there's the large buttons option there. Also, you can dictate whether you're wanting um, maybe Balabolka to pause in between or after a sentence. So as it's reading back a sentence, you would want it to pause slightly, then that's the setting there. This is text, so this is how you can determine whether you want to remain the, the formatting of a document when you open it up. So if you have a header, for example, headers and styles built in, it will keep those headers when you open it up. And uh, like all good programs, it has some great keyboard shortcuts, so everything can more, be more or less controlled with the keyboard. F5, for example, will start the speech and stop the speech. And there are some of the files, so RTF, HTML, uh, Office 2007 and the ordinary documents can all be opened up in Balabolka. So it's a very powerful program and it really is a gem. Uh, so that's the first part and we'll be looking in a bit more detail some of the other features that Balabolka has to offer.